everyone, welcome to the front row with Ed. Today we're gonna to talk about hip pain and how we can use a foam roller, a lacrosse ball, or a tennis ball to kind of get into some of those deep hip rotator muscles. Because a lot of times, just getting a little bit of trigger point in, trigger point work in that area, you know, followed by some stretch, it can make a big difference, okay? So, first I'm gonna show you with the foam roller, okay? So in this example, I'm gonna be working on my right side, okay? So I'm gonna cross my right ankle, over my left knee, and I'm gonna rotate over onto my right side here. And then what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna use my arms and my left leg to kind of do eight to 10 exploratory motions all the way around, okay? Looking to see, is there anything that's particularly tender? Okay, if I find a spot after my eight to 10 that's particularly tender, then I'm gonna come back there, and I'm gonna focus in, it's not a press and hold, but I'm gonna focus in there for about 30 seconds to a minute, okay? And then I'm gonna compare the same thing to the other side. So in this example, if my right hip is the sore one, when I do the same thing on my left side, it shouldn't be as tender, okay? So do the left side. Hey, Romeo, you ready? Ready, go get the ball. When you film videos and you have your dog with you, you gotta take a break to throw the dog. Okay, okay, hang on just for a second. Okay, so this example, I'm doing my left side here. So I'm crossing this, oh geez, sorry. Okay, so I'm here, I'm rotating over to my left side now, okay? Hey, hey, don't, that's mine, you can't take that one. Okay, I'm rotating over to the left side. So in this example here, it, it, oh, he took my nice ball, okay. So in this example here, if my right hip is a sore hip, hey, these videos are free, okay? So let's not complain about my dog. Okay, so if the right hip is a sore one, when I do that foam rolling, it should be a little bit more tender on that side, okay? After about two weeks of foam rolling, the level of tenderness should kind of equal out. It's not uncommon to be a little sore, so don't worry about that. After a while, the foam roller's not gonna be able to give you the kind of depth that you need if you have a deeper muscle that's sore, okay? Enter the tennis ball, okay, and then the lacrosse ball, okay? So more is not necessarily better, but if you find that you're no longer really tender with the tennis ball, I mean with the foam roller, then we can go a little deeper. So same thing here, I'm gonna use just my right hip as an example, okay? I'm in that same position here. My right leg is over my left knee. I'm leaning over this way, and I'm basically putting this right in my cheek, and I'm gonna kinda come up and over it. I'm leaning to that right side, and once again, I'm gonna try to find that spot. That's that real special spot, okay? And then I'm gonna stay there for about 30 seconds to a minute, just kinda working that trigger point out, okay? Same thing on the other side. After a while, okay, hey, ready, go get it. After a while, the tennis ball is not gonna cut it either, okay? And if you want something firmer, this is the lacrosse ball. No, 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 Romeo, hey lacrosse ball. Ow! Hey! <laughs> okay, sorry. Same kind of thing. Crossing the right leg over the left. Yeah, and it, for me, this is a little bit too much, okay? So, like I said, more is not necessarily better, but I just wanted to give you an idea, okay, that you can start with the foam roller, you can then proceed down to the tennis ball, and then you can even get to the lacrosse ball if you want to get deeper into a real specific spot, okay? Remember, after you finish foam rolling, you ideally want to follow it up with a stretch, okay? And we can do this glute stretch in any way you want to do that. You can get into that same position here where you cross and you pull back up this way to stretch the glute, you know, hey! Or you can sit in a chair and do that any way you can to get a stretch into that glute. But the important thing is that we're working the trigger points in those areas, okay? Like I said, if it's really sore in about two weeks, it should start to get better and normalize, and that should equate to a little less pain in your hip as well, okay? So give it a try, see how you do. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions, and go play catch with your dog.